So we're continuing now with lesson six of our step-by-step -step tutorial and we've just added a, a label control uh, to the UX component that is displaying the uh, record count of the number of records in the list. Now in order to clear the search the way we currently are doing it is we delete the current item in the search box and then click the search button um, a second time and that basically does a search with no criteria which is the same as clearing the search so after we clear the search you can see we go back to 91 records so we now would like to make this button here the clear search button do those two actions clear whatever is currently in the search box and then execute the search so let's go back to design mode now and um, select the clear search button in the um, list of controls and then on the property sheet on the right hand side scroll down until you get to the click event and uh, we're now going to define the uh, JavaScript code that gets executed when the user uh, clicks on this button so click on the smart field and that's going to open up the click event builder but now um, instead of using action JavaScript to define the event handler for this button we're going to write the JavaScript ourselves so we're going to sw switch from action JavaScript mode to text mode and so now we have a JavaScript editor where we can type in the JavaScript uh, for this event handler so the first thing that we'd like to do when the user clicks on this button is clear whatever value is currently in the search field so in order to do that we're gonna uh, go here and um, select one of the methods of the UX component so I'm going to go here uh, and click on insert UX component method and a uh, genie comes up showing all the different methods that are available to you and we'd like to use the set value method so in the filter box at the bottom just type in set value and the uh, value that we the action the method that we want is uh, set value so let's go ahead here and click OK, insert and you can see that um, the um, method got inserted for us and uh, the uh, syntax for the method is shown so let's go and um, delete what we have over there so now we have nothing shown and then uh, we can have um, um, Alpha Anywhere provide um, help for us in selecting the arguments so after you've deleted um, the um, values that are between the open paren and closed paren just double click on set value so you can see that after you double click on set value the uh, syntax uh, for the um, method is shown and now if you uh, click if you right click on UX control name over there you'll see that um, all of the existing controls that you can choose are shown so we'd like to clear the value in the search field so go ahead there and click search so you can see now that when we do that um, Alpha Anywhere has filled in uh, the value search over there so what's going to happen now is that this method is going to execute and we're going to set the value of the search uh, control and now we need to specify what we'd like to set it to and we'd like to set it to a blank string so type comma and then uh, single quote single quote so um, just summarizing what we have here is uh, dialog.object is a placeholder that's going to reference this UX component at runtime then we're calling the set value method of this component and we're setting the value of the search control to a null string so the next thing that we'd like to do is to actually click the button that actually performs the search so uh, we can just go here and just type in dialog.object close paren and then dot and you can see now that we can start uh, picking uh, from the pick list but I know that there's a method called button click so just type BU and then you'll get the autocomplete select button click and then right click on the button ID and we want the uh, simple search button and then put a semicolon at the end of the line because all JavaScript commands are terminated with a semicolon. So let's pause now and pick this up in the next video.